This video aims to help you understand how to use the Eat Well Guide. The Eat Well Guide is used in the UK to show in picture form how different foods and drinks can help make up a healthy, balanced diet. The Eat Well Guide is for most people, regardless of their body shape, general medical conditions, food preferences or ethnic origin. Anyone with special dietary or medical requirements might want to check with a registered dietitian or nutritionist on how to adapt the Eat Well Guide to meet their individual needs. It does not apply to children under the age of two. Between the ages of two and five, children should gradually move towards following the Eat Well Guide. The Eat Well Guide shows us in easy picture form what we need to eat over days and weeks for our bodies to work well. It is not how every meal needs to look. The Eat Well Guide can help us plan our meals and snacks, keep us on track for a healthy, balanced diet. The different sections show the amount of each food group needed to get the right balance. Portion sizes will be different for everyone, depending on age, gender, activity levels, health and other factors. We will look now at each of the food groups. Fruit and vegetables. Fruit and vegetables are packed full of vitamins, minerals and fibre. If we eat a variety of fruit and vegetables in a day, we will eat a wide range of nutrients. Fresh, frozen, tinned and owned fruit juice, dried and just all count, and we should aim for at least five portions a day. For pure fruit juices or smoothies, keep to a maximum of 150 mils in a day, due to the high free sugar content. One medium fruit, two small fruits, one tablespoon of dried fruit, or three tablespoons of cooked vegetables count as one portion. Potatoes, bread, rice, pasta and other starchy carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are a main source of energy that the body and brain can use easily. They also contain fibre, which is good for our digestive systems. Choose whole grain versions of starchy carbohydrates where possible, as they are higher in fibre, for example brown rice, whole wheat pasta and high fibre breads. Dairy and alternatives. Milk, cheese, yoghurt and dairy alternatives are included in this group but not cream, butter and eggs. Dairy and alternatives are packed full of calcium which helps to keep our bones and teeth strong. They also contain protein and other important vitamins. To reach our calcium requirements, we should aim for three portions a day from this food group. For example, a glass of milk, a small pot of yogurt and a small matchbox size amount of cheese. Choose the lower fat and low, lower sugar versions of these foods, semi-skimmed milk, reduced fat cheese, natural yogurt. For flavoured yogurts, read and compare labels to check that they are low in both fat and sugar. If you are buying alternative milks such as soya, oat or almond, check they are unsweetened and fortified with 120 milligrams of calcium per 100 mils. Beans, pulses, fish, eggs, meat and other proteins. Foods in this group are good sources of protein and also an important source of iron, which keeps our blood healthy. We should aim to eat two to three portions from this food group a day. Vegetarians and vegans should aim for three portions a day. If you eat fish, you should aim to eat at least two portions of fish a week, and one of these should be oily. For example, salmon, mackerel, herring or sardines, as they are rich in a good fat called omega-3. If you eat more than 90 grams of red or processed meat a day, you should cut this down to 70 grams and try to choose leaner options such as chicken, turkey or leaner mince. Oils and spreads. This group contains a good type of fat called unsaturated fat, found in vegetable, rapeseed, sunflower and olive oils or spreads. We should use all oils and spreads in small amounts as all types of fat are high in calories. Foods high in fat, salt and sugar. Cakes, biscuits, chocolate, sweets, crisps, ice cream, sugary and fizzy drinks, salted nuts, sauces and pastries are foods grouped outside of the Eat Well Guide to show how they are not a necessary part of our diet. These foods should be enjoyed less often and in small amounts. In addition to what we eat, we should aim to have at least six to eight glasses of fluid a day. Tea, coffee and sugar-free juices count. Take care to limit your caffeine intake. Use front of pack traffic light labels to compare products for fat, salt and sugar content and help you to make the healthiest choice. Hopefully you find the Eat Well Guide helpful as you shop and meal plan so that you can enjoy a wide variety of foods for good health.